I'm a novice in, in all of this uh, cryptocurrency. Welcome. The answer to those questions is very different, right? So what percentage of your wealth should be tied up in Bitcoin? That was my second question. A percentage, <laughs> a percentage that is equivalent to your understanding of how the technology works and, and your ability to absorb the risk that it entails, which for most people is a very small percentage, right? Um, to, to, so, to your first question, what percentage of my wealth is invested in Bitcoin? I think using the word wealth is uh, <laughs> a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> um, I did this job for free for two years. I'm still digging out of the hole of debt that that created, so not really wealth. But, uh, you know, my, my small savings that I do have are invested in Bitcoin, 100%. And I actually have a tiny bit of debt in dollars still, that I'm still trying to pay off. So it's more than 100% in Bitcoin. Um, <laughs> now, and I'd like to emphasize that again, that is not a recommendation to invest. Because I haven't invested my money in Bitcoin. I've invested my career, my intellectual capacity, my creative energy, my passion, my work in Bitcoin. The money is the least of the investment I've made in Bitcoin, and I could lose all of it, and I still have everything else. You should invest as little as you're willing to lose in a very volatile market. Now, that may mean um, just maybe five quid a week. I think a very good uh, piece of advice that I, I've heard from many people is, you know, dedicate two cups of Starbucks a week or one pack of cigarettes less. Take something from a negative habit and, and put that into Bitcoin just to play around, see how it works, experience it, use some wallets, do some transactions, and see if you like it. Should that percentage depend on which country you're in, depending on the volatility of that country? Absolutely, it depends on which country you're in. And I'm talking primarily for this audience. If you're in Argentina, uh, any percentage of wealth you put in Bitcoin did far better than the Argentinian uh, money every single year in the last seven years. Uh, even in the worst years of Bitcoin, somehow Argentina's economy was doing worse. <laughs> and that applies to Zimbabwe and Venezuela and a whole bunch of other places. Like if your country is experiencing 45% inflation, right, then crazy Bitcoin volatility seems like a rock solid investment. <laughs>